A couple things to notice. Uh, the All City only has one set of wheels, whereas the All Terrain has doubles all the way around. Uh, the, it also has locking front wheels, which is re required for the uh, compact fold. All right, we zeroed up the level on the wall. And the All Terrain has more of a recline than the All City. So the All Terrain, we're looking at about a 32 degree recline. And the All City. <laughs> In the All City, we're looking at about a 23.4 degree recline. All right, just real quick, some key feature differences. I already pointed out the double wheels on the All Terrain versus the single wheels on the All City. The All City has suspension in the front for a little smoother ride. And of course, the brake on the back is centrally located. That locks both wheels and unlocks both wheels. Sorry about the noise. Uh, the brake on the all-terrain is just on the right wheel. Just flip that down, and it also has the cable to lock both wheels at the same time. <laughs> the lower construction of the all-terrain is all plastic, whereas the all-city... The all-terrain has a rubber strap at the bottom, but a much smaller basket than the all-city. And the uh, lower frame is plastic, whereas the all-city that's going away there is aluminum. The upper portion of the all-terrain is also aluminum, but as you can see, the telescoping arms here, there are two of them for stability. And uh, even then, you can see that it's, it's pretty flexible. I'll, I'll be nice in the way I say that. Um, it does feel flimsy, but it's because everything folds. There's a lot of moving parts on it, so of course it's not gonna be very rigid. The All City, on the other hand, it just has the two main telescoping poles that come out of the frame. And so it tends to be much, much more stable. You can tell the difference in price between these two. Obviously, the bottom has a much larger basket accessible from the front and from the back. Um, it also has the leg rest that can be adjusted upward. I will say that the All Terrain reclines a lot farther back than the All City. While they're both very narrow, they're not narrow enough to fit through my kitchen. Now, the uh, hood of the All City is much more rigid. It's got a large, <laughs> it has a large aluminum band, uh, maybe not aluminum, but some type of metallic band, probably a tempered steel in the front here, and uh, also one in the back. The one in the middle is just a flexible wire. Now the all-terrain, all on the other hand, it has a plastic band in the front, so not nearly as rigid. Um, and definitely once it's been bent a certain way, it kind of holds that form. It does have two wires in the back, but you'll notice it's not connected. So there's a large opening, both on the right and the left, whereas the all-terrain, or sorry, the all-city is sealed up. Even in its completely reclined state, it is all sealed up. As you can see, the unfolded dimensions are pretty much the same with both. The All City is a little wider um, than the All Terrain, but for the most part, they're, they're almost exactly the same size. Uh, what people buy them for, obviously, is not their unfolded dimensions, but their folded dimensions, which we will now demonstrate. So one thing you don't see in all the demonstrations where they show you how fast it opens and closes is there's two things that you have to do before you can even fold it up. The first thing is you need to fold the back legs in and you also need to lock the front wheels. So unless you've been driving around in a straight line, you probably have your front wheels unlocked so that they cast her. Well, before you can fold it, you have to lock those wheels back into place or it won't fold up properly. Now, once it folds up, you push your two buttons you have to push down. This is where I use my foot to kind of hold it. And as I push down, it then folds up. You have to make sure that the legs don't come undone as you go down. Otherwise, one of them will be stuck out. If you pull it up hard enough, it will lock into place. So it won't drop back down on you. You can see just a little bit of pressure takes it back out though, so be careful. And then, as I said, push the button. You gotta use your foot to kind of help you and then it folds up. That springs into place, which is easy right now, but it's hard to get it back out. 
and then you lock it. So there you go. It mostly stands on its own. Um, it's basically balancing on these two joints, which is why it's not the most stable. If you bump it, it will fall over. All right. Now, of course, with the All, All City, it's a much simpler design. It doesn't have the stabilization bars on the back. It's a lot more stable. It doesn't wiggle as much. Um, the front wheels, you don't have to lock them. You can fold it exactly like it is. And uh, there's no legs in the back to fold up. There's a downside to this, of course, which we'll see in a moment. So the fold up is a lot simpler. Now the leg rest does need to be folded. There's a good thing about this one. It's got the kickstands. It's got two plastic pieces here so that it can stand up very easily on its own. It doesn't fall back down. Um, as you can see, the downside to being a simpler fold is it's five inches taller. It is an inch and a half narrower. They're both about eight inches thick um, with the canopies. If you go with just the regular Pocket Plus, um, they're a lot uh, thinner because the canopy is just a single flap that folds over. But as you can see, um, the instability in the, in the chair itself, you make up for it with the size. It's also about a pound and a half, two pounds lighter. And of course, the Pocket Plus is about three pounds lighter than this one. So you actually make a big difference there. And when you're traveling, obviously the biggest thing is, do you need space? Do you need something that's going to be very compact that you can fit into an overhead compartment on, air, on an airplane? Or do you need something that's gonna be much more functional, larger basket, more room for the child, a more stable, easier fold and unfold? Um, then, then you're gonna be going with the All City versus the All Terrain or one of the other Pocket Pluses. Now for the unfold, we'll start with the, uh, the all-terrain first. It's definitely not the easiest unfold. Um, in the videos, they make it seem so simple, but it's kind of spring-loaded into place here, so you almost need to hold the back side as you force the front side out. Then once it's out, now you have to unfold your legs. Now you can either hit the switch, or you can just force them out because they don't lock in place very well. But if you're still not done, so extend the arms, and you have to unlock your front wheels or you won't be able to turn. So a few more steps, but definitely doable. I'll show you the, the canopy flips out, like we talked about, not nearly as strong as the other one, has holes in the back. And uh, I noticed on a couple unfolds, the, uh, the backrest, it clips into the, the bars up here. Sometimes those pop out, so you may have to fix that as well. It's definitely not as convenient. I don't know how many times they've unfolded the one in the video so that it happens so easily, but it's not nearly that easy when they're new. Um, it does recline quite a bit more than the old, the All City does. And then you can unzip this and recline it even more. As far as the All City, this one is definitely as easy as they show in the videos, but I'll show you the, uh, the recline on this one is definitely not as, shallow as the all-terrain. So if your child wants to lay back a little bit more, obviously the all-terrain has a better recline um, than the all-city. Uh, the all-city does have little leg rest that'll pop out there so they can kick their legs up a little bit. Um, the nice thing about the all-city, like we talked about, is the enclosed sides. So to some, basically the biggest thing is if you're traveling, you're gonna wanna go with something a little bit more compact. It's not as easy to open and close, but It'll save you some weight in your luggage and be easier to, to carry around. If you're looking for something a little more functional, um, I would definitely go with the All City. It's got the nice enclosed sides for the canopy if your child's sleeping or something like that. But most of all, it's got the larger basket, the sturdier frame. It is a very easy fold and unfold for getting in and out of the car. So if you're traveling with a child in a small vehicle, I would definitely recommend the All City over the All Terrain or any of the other pockets. And also, they both come with the, uh, the mounts for a car seat. So if you have an infant, you could easily mount a, an infant seat into them as well.